From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Nicole Nalepa. Here are your top headlines on this Friday, January 8th. We've been following developing news in Summers this morning. Summers Public Schools were delayed two hours as police searched for two suspects wanted in connection to a shooting that happened overnight in Vernon. At least one shot was fired into an apartment building before suspects took off in a red Jeep, crashing it in Summers right at the intersection of routes 190 and 83. Police sent out an alert to about 8,000 people who live in the area, asking them to stay inside their homes and lock their doors. That shelter in place order was lifted just before 7 a.m. Police believe the shooting was targeted. And in a video released by the White House last night, President Trump appeared to acknowledge his defeat. He said President-elect Joe Biden will assume office on January 20th, and he called for healing. The video came hours after Democrats demanded that President Trump be removed from office by impeachment or under the 25th Amendment. And breaking developments from overnight also in Washington, where we're learning that a U.S. Capitol Police officer who responded to the riots has died. According to Capitol Police, Officer Brian Sicknick was hurt while physically engaging with protesters and then later collapsed and succumbed to his injuries. This is now the fifth death related to Wednesday's rampage. Turning it now to the coronavirus in Connecticut, the positivity rate is down from yesterday to just over 6%. And this comes as a second strain of the coronavirus has been confirmed here in Connecticut. But there is some good news. A new study suggests that Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine is effective against that new strain of the coronavirus. Scott, over to you. All right, beautiful start, beautiful day today. We're expecting those temperatures to climb into the mid to upper 30s, if not the lower 40s. Now, it will feel a little bit cooler due to a breeze out of the north northwest. But all in all, a beautiful day. It was such a gorgeous start this morning. I hope you had an opportunity to check out that sunrise at 718. All right, so as we move you through the uh, seven day forecast, it's a very quiet weather pattern. It is going to get a little bit colder. There's a storm system going by to our south this weekend, especially tonight through tomorrow, and that's going to drag some colder air into the forecast. 35 tomorrow, 37 on Sunday. Monday, good. Tuesday and Wednesday, we're watching a storm, but it looks like it's going to remain offshore. And then Wednesday and Thursday, some moderating temperatures. Have a great weekend.